In Pauline epistles, my goal is that we would look at the 13 letters of Paul and we would come away with the, the big idea. Uh, what is it that God in these 13 letters has for his church? One of the things that strikes us about Paul is how diverse his letters are. He's writing to different congregations, a host of different circumstances and situations. And, and so the letters will often read and even feel differently. I also want students to appreciate the unity that runs through those letters. Paul has a single message that gets brought to bear on that welder of circumstances. And that's instructive for us as a prospective pastoral theologians, servants in the church. How do we bring the Word of God to bear on the various issues that we'll encounter and face? in ministry. Paul is dealing with gender in the church. He's dealing with worship wars in the church, divisions in the church. And we'll be looking not only at what Paul's answers are, but also the way that Paul gets to those answers. And he's modeling how to address those issues. My hope and prayer is that as we think together, that that information would take root in the heart. It would be a tragedy, of course, if we were to spend all this time in this class and then leave it with minds filled and hearts unchanged. I think when we step back, we have to be in awe of the Apostle Paul, uh, that he has given us uh, a whole range of issues from church and community to racial reconciliation to the wide-ranging gospel to thinking about the world around us to thinking about the future that lies before us. For these reasons uh, and more, uh, I think Paul is someone that, that merits uh, a careful look and that's what I hope we'll do in this class.